Hi beautiful, welcome back to another video. If you are new, subscribe and join the Alita family. I would love to have you. We are starting with nail prep. I pushed the cuticle back and now I'm going in with my e-file at 4,000 RPMs and I'm going to etch my nails, remove the shine and get rid of any dead skin or debris that is attached to my nail plate. And then we will get into form application. I was gonna say tip application. But today we are going to be learning how to apply forms and how to build your nail on a form. We're gonna do a full color and I'm also gonna do a marble and encapsulation so that you guys can see that it is still doable on a nail form of course it is the same thing you're just building your structure and then you're gonna add on top just like you would on a tip right I am going in with this sanding band by Panna I believe it is a 180 grit I'm pretty sure they are listed on my Amazon storefront I'm going in with some swipe. This is going to cleanse and dehydrate your nails. This will wipe away any dust or debris that you have trapped in your nail grooves. And now I'm going in with Zule's Nails Nail Forms. It has a section that you can tear off to make the forms shorter if you do need them shorter. And I love the sidewalls. Notice where the grooves are on the nail bed they actually tuck in really nicely you know how sometimes there are forms where you have to actually cut that section to fit your nail i love that it has the numbers as a guide so that you know exactly where to stop and how long to sculpt your nails and then the lines on the side so that you have a guide okay and depending of course on your shape i'm also going in with zule's smooth set liquid monomer I think I said that right. I showed it to you though. And an acrylics creamy peach. And we're gonna try these out. I had some requests. One of them was to use nail forms, and the other was to use an acrylics acrylics. So we're gonna do that today. And I'm also gonna be using JC Beauty Concepts Clear. I will leave everything in the description box. If I'm missing something, feel free to ask. I do try to answer everyone. And yeah, so we're gonna go in with a clear coat. You guys notice that there is a lot of prep when you are doing tips, cause you have to blend the tip in and everything. You don't have to do that with this. I was talking about this with somebody recently, and you know who you are. And yeah, it just takes away all of the process of having to blend the tip and everything. So it's kind of nice. I used to only use nail forms. And then as I began to grow on YouTube, I started to use tips more because a lot of beginners do use tips. They do have a glue allergy. So nail forms was my go-to before, okay? Just so you guys know, angling your finger down is still what you wanna do so that gravity can help you. It'll help you work with the acrylic so that it flows down, especially if you are up by your cuticle area. Also liquid to powder ratio. So make sure that your beads aren't too wet because you will see later on, I do show you a difference on my index finger of when you do a drier bead versus a wet bead. You tend to chase the acrylic and you don't want to do that, okay? So pay close attention to that. I always try to keep the monomer and the acrylic in frame so that you can see what I'm doing. And also, I don't know, I figured it helps you understand how much monomer I'm releasing from my brush. I have a really good video on a formula to pick up 
perfect size beads i will leave it on the end tag at the end of the video and also i forgot to mention that that clear layer that i did before the color not only protects your nail bed but it can also fill that gap so that's kind of what i was doing but you don't need to make it as long as i did just so you know i'm gonna throw that in there as far as how much acrylic to use when you are using colors your layers can be thinner and then you can encapsulate with clear to build a little bit more of a structure and apex i like my nails a little bit thicker because i do a lot around the house so i need them to last <laughs> and i'm also doing nails all right do not forget to swipe your sidewalls and clean the sidewalls up this way you have a little bit less to file but with forms of course once you pull them off there are some thin strips of acrylic i do show you what i do with that on my index finger i think i have a little bit more so i'm able to show you but yeah this acrylic's really nice you guys it's very buttery and it's nice to work with and this color is so pretty i love it i can't wait for you guys to see the end result and also as you see here just to make sure you're adding and the little spots that you need add little tiny beads if you need to and try to perfect your application or your shape this way you don't have to like i said before file as much all right so everything looks nice and i'm liking the shape so now i'm moving on to the next nail and as you guys see i'm pinching it together lining up the sticker as best as i can of course if you don't get it perfect i guess that's okay but you definitely want to try to match it up perfectly and then make sure that there is no gap see i'm trying to make sure that there's no gap between the form and my nail okay and then once i have it set to where i want it i continue to pinch the back and then you are set and then as you can see i make sure it is also straight you can adjust it to your nail so if your nail grows a little bit crooked then you can adjust it but i'm going back making sure my other nail is dry and then i'm going to show you just pinch the form and then you want to pull it down so that you don't hurt yourself or your client that is the best way to remove a form and then here I'm showing you those little jagged edges. You can just cut them or just wait till you're going to file. And then I use JC Beauty Concepts Dehydrator and then Young Nails Protein Bond. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. But I'm going in with this glitter. We are going to do a marble and encapsulate glitter. So I'm starting with my base. We're going to use or we're going to build a clear base first. And then this bead, I show you how you just try to control it. Keep working your way down. I try to go about halfway. And then with my next bead, I'm going to go the rest of the way. But my next bead is my wet bead. And you will see how I have to chase the acrylic. You don't want to do that, okay? <laughs> you guys, these forms are amazing. I feel like it has everything you would need in a form so if you're a beginner i really recommend these they're really nice oh they are also on the thicker side you guys i know that there are forms that you peel the center cut out and put it on the back you know to make it more sturdy you do not need those for these okay these are very sturdy i love the quality and yes this is not sponsored of course i bought these nail forms to try them out with my own money so I'm just recommending some really nice forms. I know you guys will love these. you guys you just want to get creative with it marble 
is not perfect or the marble effect is not perfect so you just want to get in there and just place the color lightly blend it up and down the nail use the clear acrylic to add some glitter and i just space it out until you know i'm happy of course and now i'm going to start encapsulating when i start to encapsulate i do go in with a little bit more of a wet bead because you want that acrylic to hug everything and just you know basically melt onto your nail art okay once i am done building my structure and my apex and i'm happy with the thickness i'm going to wait till it dries to remove the form also do not forget to wipe your sidewalls and i think that's all the tips i have hopefully the visuals are helpful too if you guys have any questions let me know I know that sometimes forms can be intimidating, but it takes a lot of practice, you guys, and I am not perfect, okay? I'm always learning, so if I can do it, you can do it, and yeah, don't give up on learning. I always say that. Don't give up on learning. I only show the two first fingers or the thumb and the index because I do the same thing on my ring finger and my pinky. I wanted to show you guys the most important parts and then we get into filing. <music> I was just showing you that having the numbers on there was really convenient because your nails turn out to be the same length so that's very helpful All right now i'm going in with an 80 grit file i do have some amazon favorites um listed on my ideas list on amazon the link is always in the description box so check those out sometimes the files and the bits that i use from my e-file are listed on there so just make sure you check it out. I am going in and making sure that I file on the underside to straighten all the jagged edges out. And then I file my sidewalls and you want to make sure it is straight flush up against your sidewall to make sure you get that nice crisp shape. And now I am going in with, I believe this, this is definitely a five in one bit, but I'm not exactly sure where it's from. Okay. If I got it on Amazon, I will list it on Amazon as well. Here I'm just showing you that I line up my cuticles to see that they're straight. This way I know that the nails are all the same length, especially when I'm putting it in that position. <laughs> So now I am going in with the same five in one bit and I'm making sure that my cuticle area is flush with the acrylic. I'm also removing any bulk 
from the structure or the nail itself and I'm just making sure everything is somewhat smooth you're not going to get a really smooth finish with a five in one at least for me I don't and then I go in with a 180 grit file and you'll see that I just file up and down and I just smooth everything out with the e-file sanding band I do like to switch up the way I'm doing things sometimes especially with filing to see what works best it just depends on what mood I'm in really especially when I'm doing my own nails um, I don't know I just like to work with whatever works best with that set especially with my application sometimes my application isn't the exact same application every time so I'm just gonna base it on what I feel like I need to perfect my shape so don't be afraid to try different things to see what works for you you don't need to do the same thing over and over again because you might be missing out on something else that could work a little bit better so like I said just don't be afraid to try new things and it's very helpful for your learning process
right now I'm going in and buffing just to smooth everything out because I've already done a lot of the shaping so I'm just going to smooth everything out for nail art. I will be using Blue Streak Crystals. Um, I think it's a Preciosa mix and I'm also going to be going in with some foil. I'm not 100% sure where I got the foil that I will be using. I think it was from Zule's as well. Um, but I'm not 100% sure, like I said, you guys, I forget because I buy a lot of products, okay? This top coat is Axiom by OPI. I freaking love this top coat. I've used it for years and um, I kind of steered away from it, but I do really love it. And this matte coat is by Coco and Claire. ABZ Nail Studio or Beauty Studio recommended this top coat and I love it you guys know I usually don't do matte so I figured let me switch it up and do some matte and shiny but yeah I do show you everything here I go in with Zule's uh, foil glue and um, that worked really nice and then basically I'm just quickly showing you what I do everything is pretty much repetitive I did try to do nail art but I wasn't feeling it so I decided to just go in with the foil and then add the Preciosa mix rhinestones and they look beautiful so that's why you see that on the other hand I had a little bit of nail art but it's good practice you guys you can just switch it up if you're not happy with your design um, you know we all make mistakes oh I am using some gel rhinestone glue my I need to get a new Zule's rhinestone glue because I left it opened and it hardened well it's not hard but it got a little bit messed up so i need to order some more um, but i am using rhinestone gel glue by nail it like lucy and i really love that too it works really well and the stones stay in place until you cure them but this is the end result you guys i think this color is so beautiful and acrylics definitely has really nice colored acrylics and they work so nice they're nice and buttery really nice for beginners but yeah you guys let me know what you guys think the winner for the 200 dollars giveaway will be listed down in the description box congratulations to the winner thank you to all of you for your love and support i love you hope you love the design let me know what you think give me a like subscribe if you like this video and you found it helpful, I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.